Hi, welcome to today's webinar on how to create a video sitemap, uh, more specifically for Google, although it should work uh, for other search engines like Yahoo, Microsoft, Ask, um, as well. Um, so you'll notice that since 2007, Google released Universal Search, uh, incorporating a lot more videos, images, blogs, forums, uh, book reviews, all this other stuff, and plain web pages into um, their search results. So, for example, typing in words like uh, drunken monkey um, might uh, bring up videos with uh, drunken monkey, so they're right at the top. So, you know, in, in 2006 and before, uh, the, the search result page uh, would have just started um, with the drunken monkey co dot uk site. Um, but now uh, the BBC and then some other um, videos that have gone to the top of the list. Um, so allowing creating a video sitemap basically allows search engines to understand what that video is about. Um, so it's really important. They're still working on um, effectively, you know, figuring out the content of the video by just spidering it on their own. Uh, but the more that you can help Google do that, the better chance that it'll have. Your videos will have to show up on the search engine results page, which is what we're looking at now. Um, so a little background, uh, my blog is hosted by Blogger, it was actually acquired uh, by Google about the same time where um, Universal Search uh, was, in, was uh, rolled out by them, and um, also uh, the vi actual videos themselves are hosted by um, YouTube. Um, which also uh, Google purchased um, a little bit, uh, probably in about three, four years ago, three years ago is my guess. Um, oops, sorry about that. Um, so here is one of the, a couple blogs ago. I, I did a, a video and a blog about how to basically figure out or predict what your return of investment will be by doing any hard copy uh, advertising. So, uh, for example, yellow pages, um, and uh, provided a free template as well, and then uploaded the video to YouTube. So, uh, might as well um, take 30 seconds. When you upload a video to YouTube, um, make sure you're giving it, you know, easy, clever title. Um, try to include keywords in the title. Um, also, give it a good description. You'll see down here. Um, I explain the video, um, and then also included a link to Black to my website, which is always good. You might get some natural clips there. And then also put it in the technology pattern and, and tagged it um, to give YouTube a little bit more idea of what the video is about. So for example, ROI spreadsheet is, is the tag that I gave it. And you'll see that um, you know, um, recently um, I'm getting uh, some referrals on YouTube from when people search for ROI spreadsheet. So, after you've uploaded your videos to um, you know, YouTube or some other video portal like Vimeo, um, your next step is going to be then to uh, embed it onto your blog. Um, so, after you've done that, uh, create a video sitemap. Sorry. And to embed it on your blog, again, is usually just as simple as grabbing the code once you upload the video. Uh, there'll be a little embed button there. Um, where it's about 10, 15 lines of code that you can grab and then put on a web page on your site to uh, embed the video um, on, on your website, even though it'll still be hosted by YouTube. So to create the video site map, um, the best friend besides this video is going to be this help page on Google's Webmaster Central uh, that I'll provide a link to um, right below the video um, on, my web, on my website. Um, the only oops. so each uh, video uh, must contain at least the following five tags: title, description, um, where the URL is located, um, which you know, most likely be on your website, um, the thumbnail of the video so they can display it in the search engine result page, and where the video is being posted. Um, this could be a YouTube link. Um, in my example, it is a YouTube link. Uh, so those are the only five uh, tags that are required for each video. Um, you'll notice that you can add a ton of additional tags uh, besides
provides the first five that I just mentioned, such as rating, publication date, expiration date, additional tags and categories, which I'll show you in my example, as well as um, the family tag, uh, the duration of the video as well. And if you want to restrict the, um, the video being uh, shown somewhere, um, you can also include this tag. So go ahead and uh, create a, a title, open up your HTML editor, or however you create a web page, and title the file video sitemap.xml. And for your first one, you can basically uh, copy and paste from Google's Webmaster Central that code that we just looked at um, into your HTML editor and then start kind of just filling in the blanks. So uh, make sure that you have an opening URL tag and the location tag should be the fully qualified URL from HTTP of where the video, what web page the video resides on. Um, then also the next uh, content lock tag um, is going to be the fully qualified URL of where it is on YouTube. And then you can probably leave these other lines um, as is on default um, if it's uh, embedded anywhere, um, that it's the autoplay, uh, if it's true or not. Um, and then most importantly, this step right here for this tag Go ahead and on YouTube or somehow create a thumbnail of your video, a little image that you want to show up in the search engine result pages, and upload it to your website and put the full URL here. Um, the video title, um, again, make it descriptive. You can use the same title that you provided on YouTube, and then also a, a, a description. Um, better to make it keyword rich, um, think about how you would approach the uh, you're familiar with search engine optimization, how would you create the title tag for a web page and a description to um, try to get people to click on it. Sorry about that. <laughs> this should be the last time that pops up. Um, optional are these next tags. Um, the video category tag, you can only have one of. Uh, so letting Google know this type of template. Uh, and then more specifically, a return of investment template, you know, offline marketing template, um, it's related to uh, the yellow pages in my example, so I'll show you the value of the tag. Um, if it's not X-rated, keep family friendly tag is yes, and highly recommended by Google, but not required, but go ahead and add the duration of the video in seconds um, to this tag. Um, again, be careful about your syntax. Uh, each video should have a closing URL tag, along with an opening one, and then also an opening video tag and a closing video tag, uh, with the location of the video before, just in between the opening URL tag and opening the video tag. Um, also just make sure that all the URLs you have in here, whether it's location of the video on YouTube or the little icon, is uh, fully qualified. Um, so Google can find it. Okay. So the last thing for your video sitemap, uh, you can just copy and paste once you've done one, and kind of update the other videos with that information. So here's uh, the most recent blog about how to optimize your landing pages um, with uh, heat map simulation tool, free. Um, and I included the same type of information um, as well. Uh, at the very top of my video sitemap, uh, the syntax again, uh, you can just grab right off the Google uh, Webmaster Central Help in that page um, and just put that on the top of your video sitemap XML file. And in my example, you have, I have three videos, this is the third one here. And at the very bottom, this is the last closing tab. Um, so you don't make, make sure you don't forget any of those, otherwise the video sitemap uh, will get rejected by Google. Um, the next step is then to save your video sitemap XML file, title it as that, and upload it into your root directory of this site. Um, after you've done that, go ahead and go into Google Webmaster Help tool, sorry, <laughs> uh, and if your video, sorry, if your blog is hosted on not your your regular domain name. So in my 
example, it's blog.ourwebconsulting.com, and it's not, the, the, the blog isn't on www.ourwebconsulting.com, it's a forward slash blog. It, it, Google think, th thinks of that as a different domain, so you'll have to authenticate your blog, um, add it to Google Webmaster Sources at a, a different site, but the video site map can go into to the profile of your, of your regular site, um, so it doesn't have to go into the blog that our website is working on. So here's my original site map that contains all the web pages on my website. Um, you can add the video uh, into that site map using the same technique, um, but I created a, a separate one to make it easier for me um, to manage um, to add videos. Um, so here I just submitted three videos, um, and I just uploaded it today to Google. Yeah, any of your syntax in the video is wrong, Google will immediately, or within a couple minutes, usually tell you um, that it's wrong and there's some error messages. Uh, you can then, if you can't figure it out, use Google Webmaster Central help form, um, post the errors there, and they usually do a great job, um, either the, the Google community or the Google employees, to help you uh, troubleshoot um, your, site map, your video site map. So, um, that's it. Um, you know, what you should, within five days is what Google says, uh, they'll be able to look, uh, find, sorry, find your um, video site map file, index it, and include it in the search engine results term. Um, so, if you're not looking for drunken monkeys now, maybe you're looking for, you know, offline marketing template. Um, oh, there it is. The uh, first one that comes up is the one that we uh, just uploaded that you know, Google had probably indexed uh, well before today. But um, you'll see that you know these, these videos are usually easier to optimize for. Um, many uh, web pages and, 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 and websites up out there are optimizing this site for a certain keyword phrase, but there might be only a couple videos. Um, that are relevant for that keyword. So it's easier to get up on that search engine result page. It's going to result in higher click-through rates. You see, you know, the video is much more appealing to click on. And, you know, who wants to read about drunken monkeys? And you can watch a video on them. And, you know, not as exciting, but who wants to read about uh, offline marketing templates? Uh, you can watch a, a video explaining how to create one. Um, okay, I uh, hope you enjoyed today's webinar. If you have any questions, uh, shoot me an email at www.rwebconsulting.com um, or leave a comment on the, the my blog and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks. Have a good day.